What's going on everybody? So as promised, I'm bringing you the highest skill deck in the entire game today. I've played like three matches and I've literally just three crowned everyone or just overwhelmed them in like a minute in a minute or less. Um, so basically, <laughs> oh, he's going to go for the pump. All right. So what you want to do with this deck? Uh, I don't even need to talk about it. Listen, I'm just going to show you. So I already split the recruits in the back. I don't know why he went for the pump after I put the recruits down, because now he's going to have, like, no elixir to defend. So I'm just going to princess the bridge, wallbreaker is the other lane, and basically you just want to keep spamming cards on both sides, so, like, they can't have enough elixir to defend both. Look at the right lane right now, he's literally losing, like, half his tower. Um, I'm going to throw the barrel on top of the pump, just to do a little bit of damage to it. And, yeah, we're going to get one stab from the goblin, that's fine. Mini P.E.K.K.A. is probably going to get a hit on my tower. Um, but that's fine. I can just go for the Rascals on zero to defend. And I should be all right here. I want to say that these Rascals should take out the Goblin Giant. I'm actually going to go for a log just so it doesn't take my entire tower. Um, and yeah, we still, we're still we still up damage. He do does have the Elixir Pump advantage, but look what we have next up. We've got the Evo Recruits. So um, basically, there's no way he's going to be able to stop the Evo Recruits. I'm just like 100% positive on that. With like, it looks like he's running Goblin Giant Sparky um maybe not i don't even know he's just got elixir collector randomly i'm gonna throw the barrel on top of his pump um he's got heal spirit okay that's fine he's also gonna rage spell wow so really aggressive um plays from him i'm gonna go for the princess at the river and then go for the goblin gang i probably should have put that down like five seconds ago also didn't realize that he had um evo knight already so that was kind of bad for me i'm just gonna go dark goblin here and then i, I can go for the wall breakers to kite back this knight. just make sure it doesn't take my tower he does go for the fireball all right he's gonna take my tower here that's fine i'm just gonna throw a barrel on the right lane now um it doesn't really matter that i lose my tower since we already have both his down to um, a reasonably low amount so not the greatest start in the game like usually i would have already preferred to have a tower down by now but you know we're chilling I'm gonna go for the gang on top of this mini pekka just make sure it doesn't hit my tower and even though he's got two pumps on the board i'm telling you guys there's no way he's gonna be able to stop my push it's just like this deck is just way too brain dead um and it's just way too hard to defend so he's gonna goblin giant the river that's fine i'll go dark goblin here first down low and then we go for the evil recruits right on top hopefully he fireballs that oh he's dead he's dead i promise you guys he's dead because as soon as these recruits lose their shield they're gonna start dashing everywhere and there's literally no way he can stop that so right towers go on 1000 percent we might even get the three crown he's gonna have to spend a lot of elixir to defend this um and while he's doing that i'm actually just gonna go for the barrel and then throw rascals in the pocket because he's gonna have to defend that as well he's gonna fireball nothing we're gonna three crown him look at his look at his king tower right now i'm um, gonna go dark goblin wall breakers in the middle just to be, keep the pressure on look at the dark gob taking his entire tower give us the three crown it's that easy guys all you gotta do is get to your evolution recruits once and it's just wraps they can't do anything i didn't really expect that game to go as good as it did but honestly it's just way too easy like basically any single card that you have in your hand you can place it and it's gonna be annoying for them to deal with that's why i love playing this deck because it actually takes negative brain cells like you don't even have to think about what you're doing at all um it's even i would even argue it is up there with lava clone if not if not easier to play um but yeah i faced this the other day and i was like dude this is genuinely the dumbest thing i've ever seen in my life and i, I just had to try it um so i'm gonna go dark goblin in the back and so far it is absolutely nuts like I really you barely ever lose unless they've got like three spells or something like that um hopefully we can protect the dark goblin here no it's gonna die no it's not gonna die but it does get hit by that knight right there so it's gonna be easier to be taken out um i'll go for actually i'm just gonna let that kind of play out since he did play his bomb tower basically even if i don't support the recruits he still has to spend a, a decent amount of elixir um to take out like to take him out so even if i'm not throwing cards behind him like i didn't right there he's still over committing on defense just to be able to not lose half of his tower so i'm just gonna cycle my log here this is like the one time i'm actually gonna play passive um this is gonna be a pretty tough matchup i think because he's playing minor control with the bomb tower probably the one of the worst matchups since he does have the poison he has the minor and he has the um bomb tower for defense obviously i'm gonna go for the gang on top of this queen just make sure it doesn't get on my tower just need to bait his log and then go in uh, that's basically going to be the goal here and just try and overwhelm um maybe i can just stack multiple dark goblins or something like that just need to space out everything so i can't don't don't give him a lot of spell value um in the same lane i'm gonna go for the goblin barrel on top of tower here he's probably gonna have to log that dark goblin now he's gonna go for the miner on top of that which is fine with me i'll cycle my log here now um he's gonna go queen on zero very aggressive play from him I'll just go Rascals. He's going to obviously pop the ability, which is fine. And then he's also going to log. So I'll get the Goblin Gang down and then go Wallbreakers opposite just to get that double lane, dual lane pressure going. Um, 
He's not going to respond to that in time. I'm pretty sure that Wallbreaker hits. Yes, it does. That's perfect. And then I can just go for the Princess down low. Help DPS down this Knight. And that should get to my tower. It might actually get one shot. I'm not really too sure. Yeah, it's going to get one swing, which is fine. Two swings. All right, Knight's broken. But we already knew that. So we're going to cycle the Evo Recruits in the back now. Looking pretty good here. Um, he's probably going to set up a Bomb Tower and just try and stack, like, stack on defense here. I'm going to cycle Rascals early. Okay, so how do I want to do this? Um, I'll go barrel early here. Just try and get his log out of cycle. Basically, you want to bait out his log and then just play all your other bait cards on the other lane. So Dark Goblin's going to get a ton of value. I'm going to go wall breakers on the right lane as well just to kind of keep the pressure on. He's forced to go for a bomb tower up high. We protect the princess at the bridge, please. Nice, he's forced to use his log and now he doesn't have anything for this barrel, I think. I'm going to go pre-log for his goblins and... He's not playing anything on that back. That one goblin in the very back of the tower is literally going to get me like a thousand damage by itself. That's crazy. Um, still not over though, since this deck is very easy to get damage with, like the minor, the minor cycle, obviously, with the poisons. I'm just going to go rascals. That's a lot of log value. Um, I'll go dark goblin low here, wall breakers, just to make sure that queen isn't on my tower, but it is, so that's not optimal. Um, okay, it's fine. He's going to get catch back up on damage right there. But we're still surviving. I'm going to go for the log on top of the goblins. Hopefully, we can take those out and get a few shots on tower. Okay, nice. Um, I'm going to go royal recruits right now. There's the queen. I need to get back to the evil recruits, I think, if I want to have any chance of winning this game. Goblin gang in the back. Nice. We're going to catch that archer queen. Not the archer queen. The miner right there. Um, he's got to respond. I guess he doesn't to the recruits on the right. They're going to get some decent damage while he's kind of distracted um he's gonna pop the queen ability now and poison very aggressive plays from this guy i'll go dark goblin nice we catch the miner that's really really good um even though it's killing my dark goblin at least it's not hitting my tower so i'm gonna go for the princess the river and then gang to support it to wall breakers as well because he doesn't have enough elixir to um take anything out he's also not able to cycle back to his log in time look how much damage that princess just got that's insane so i'll get an another princess down on the board Goblin gang in the back, wall breakers just to make sure the queen doesn't hit my tower. Also log. Oh, look at that log. It hit the ice spirit. That's game. <laughs> nah, he had to go for his log. It wasn't even in time. And we're going to take the second dub against what I would say is probably a hard counter. Even though the deck takes negative skill, um, this might be the most fun that I've had playing the game in, in a little bit of time. I'm not going to lie. Because uh, it's just it's just fun to be able to not think about what you're doing and just have it work magically. It's just a good feeling. So I'm going to go Rascals. Um, wow, that is so aggressive. I'm going to have to go for Princess on zero. Unfortunately, we had kind of a bad cycle. If I just had like Goblin Gang or something right there, I wouldn't have taken any damage. Taken any, any damage. Sorry, my English grammar just is not there. Uh, I'm going to go Wall Breakers on the left. Just to force out something from him. Um, probably going to tank those since he did play his knight on the on the right side. So we catch back up on damage um, a little bit. Not obviously in the lead, but like that's fine. This deck, all you need is one massive overwhelm and you're going to just take the dub. Like once you get the evil recruits on the board with like a dark goblin, a barrel, princess, wall breakers, goblin gang. Like it is just over. It's a nightmare to defend. Um... Dark Goblin is going to get taken out, unfortunately, there. Probably could have played it better and like, a better tile, so it wouldn't have died, but I'm not a professional Dark Goblin uh, user. He's playing Sparky. Okay, I'll go Goblin Barrel on the left, because obviously I don't want to play anything into that Sparky at the moment. Really, really interesting Mother Witch, because I thought he would probably just ignore that barrel and go for the Goblin Giant in front of the Sparky, but it looks like he's not going to choose to do that. So I was going to go Recruits, but if he doesn't play anything, then I'm just going to go Wall Breakers and then go for the Gang on top of the Sparky. Dark Goblin low, please kill that. Okay, we're fine, I think. Oh my gosh, that was way too close. Um, and we're actually up damage now, so that worked out way better than if I would have just went recruits, because that if I went recruits, those minions would have um been very, very bad. So, okay, let's see. I'm gonna go for the rascals down low. He might just goblin giant the bridge other lane. We'll see how aggressive he is. Um, looks like he's not going to. He's going to just set up a Sparky in the back. Honestly, let's just Princess the River. Be annoying. Force out something from him at the bridge if he wants to save his tower. He is going to go for the Fireball, so I'll just go for the Log. And then, honestly, let's just set up Recruits in the back, because I don't have any other play right now at the moment. And I need to start setting up for this defense. So I'll just get the Dark Goblin down early here. Um, Wallbreakers to, to tank for one Sparky shot. And then I can go Rascals down low, and then Log once this Goblin Giant dies, so I can hit the Spear Goblins. And I think we're okay. This Dark Goblin is carrying me on defense right now. It's just getting so much value. Um, I'm going to go Gang above that Sparky, and then I think we're fine. Look at the Recruits on the right side. They're being annoying 
for him to deal with as well. He's probably going to go Goblin Giant the River. If he does, I do have the Evo Recruits, so I'm not really too worried about that. Yep, there it is, so it's just going to get melted. There's no way that it's breaking through Evo Recruits and a Princess and a Dark Goblin and a Log. Like, nah. Good luck. So I'm just going to go Wall Breakers on the right side because now he has to spawn. Look at the look at the Evo Recruits on the, on the right side dashing the tower, and then Wall Breakers connect, and his tower's gone just like that. <laughs> I can't even keep up with the commentary because there's just so much spam going on at once. Um, the Evo recruits just charge and take the whole tower. Alright, this will be a true test if this deck actually works because Bob the Rock is obviously a pretty good player. So we're both going to go for the Goblin Gang in the back first play. Could be a mirror matchup that would actually be pretty hilarious, but I'm highly doubting that that's going to be the case. I'm just going to go for Wall Breakers at the river. Why not? He's going to split Barbarians in the back. Um, I'm just going to let both of those connect as well. Okay, so good start for me. I'm just going to go for the Rascals in the back. We already took um, 1,000 damage off of his tower, so that's pretty ideal. Uh, wall Breakers are just so annoying if you don't have the perfect response for them. Um, I think I'm just going to throw a Barrel in the safe spots. Um, don't think he has Tornado, but just in case, yeah, definitely he does he definitely does not after that rage spell. So I'm just going to cycle Dark Goblin in the left lane here. Should DPS down the Skelly King pretty quickly. Um, and then I'm going to go for the Log and then he pumps. So I'm actually going to go recruits the bridge. See if he has anything to defend them. Um, Dark Goblin's not getting targeted by the tower. That's really good. Goblin Gang is kind of a waste there as well. So I think he just lost the game. <laughs> um, he's going to go for the Evo Barbs. But basically we already have his right tower down to um like kill range whatever you want to call it princess is somehow just missing everything and selling the game right here if that would have just like been able to hit all the barbs and i wouldn't have to spend the goblin gang that would have been ideal but i guess it's fine we're just gonna have to spend a little bit more elixir he might be playing golem or oh he's playing i know what he's playing he's playing elixir golem yeah he's gonna go for the eagle at the bridge 100 percent here um yeah okay so dark open first i'm gonna go rascals as well he is going to fireball that off the board immediately. That's fine. I'm just going to go for the log, and then as soon as I can, I'll princess in the back, because obviously he's going to take this tower, but hopefully I can get enough splash damage to where he doesn't three-crown me. Okay, I really need this princess to put in some work here. Um, I'll go for the gang, because I need to help DPS down as well. And I think we're all right. Yeah, I'm all right. So... Okay, so I just need to make sure I don't lose my king tower. I'm going to actually cycle the evil recruits first. He is going to go for the eagle one. I think we can defend this. Um... If I just get enough units on the board to keep this princess alive, I'm actually going to log that gang so the princess stays alive on 1 HP. That's really, really good right there. He is going to go barbs. I'm going to get a second princess down in the back. He's going to have to rage spell to kill my princess over there on the right lane, so that's pretty good. Um, he is going to fireball. I'll get the recruits down as soon as I can. Please get down. Okay, he's going to go for the second eagle, and I'll just gang on top of that, and then we can log to kill all of this on the left lane really good logs it's going to take out that knight which as well and clip a couple of those goblins yeah i think we win the game here that's not going to break through and he knows that he spent basically went all in on that push and now we're going to get the uh the second tower down there's no way for him to get my king tower when i have all this on defense so i'm just going to throw a barrel look at all these evil recruits being annoying and yeah we actually beat elixir golems so two really really toxic decks and i guess you can say that uh my deck is the most toxic in the entire game because technically e golems the stinkiest deck ever and we just beat that so we up against a youtube aelton clash here i'm just gonna go for the split wall breakers in the middle of the map He's going to get the gang down. I'll just princess in the back. I really like having princess in this deck because it's just kind of that card that's always going to be um, a safe card to play no matter what the situation is in the game. He's going to go for the princess as well, so probably playing log bait. Uh, I don't really want to face log bait if I'm honest, but uh, this is going to be interesting. I'm not sure how we're actually going to like be able to do here since he is going to have the quick cycle log. Um, and all of that garbage. So, wow, that is super aggressive. I gotta go Dark Goblin and then Wall Breakers. No, I think I just have to kind of sack my Dark Goblin there, which sucks. He does just get a nice log as well. So, obviously, a really bad start because I kind of used my log at the wrong time right there. And then he just spammed the bridge. He's gonna block the river. Wow, this guy is, is playing super, super aggressive for the first minute of the game, especially in single elixir. He's kind of leaving himself pretty thin. Um,. But that's fine. I'm just going to get the Goblin Gang down to take out this Knight. We do have Log back in cycle, so that's good for his next barrel. There's the Princess. Yeah, there's the barrel. I'm just going to get this off the board with the Log. And then we'll probably go Rascals at the bridge. I'm actually going to be patient here and see what he wants to do. So I'm going to get the Rascals down now. I was kind of hoping he played like a Knight in front or something like that. But now he's going to need to respond to this with his Goblin Gang. Okay. 
Um, the problem here is that he's going to outcycle us really, really easily. So I need to just be careful. Princess is going to put in a good job there. And then I can just go for the recruits down low to take out this knight. Kind of had no other option, to be honest. Um, I'll go for the gang in the back on zero to take out this barrel. Uh, maybe I should have just left it. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure how to play against log bait because this log is actually giving me a lot of trouble. He's probably going to protect this princess as well with his knight. Yeah, he definitely is now that he put that e-spirit down. Yeah. So I'm going to go dark goblin. It should take out the princess, which is what I need to happen right there. Um... And we're down a decent bit, but still not out of this. And we've got the evolution recruits next up as well. So that's that's one positive. I'm just going to cycle wall breakers to get him to have to play some defense and not to be able to pressure me the entire match. So I'll just go for the log on top of his barrel. And then I think now we can just spam some evil recruits in the river and go for the barrel on the right lane. Try and just... Oh, he used his log. That's good for me, actually. The recruits on the left are going to dash. He's going to need to respond to all of those. Um, wow, we're getting a ton of damage on the right lane just because he used his log. What is happening right now? I don't even know what to commentate because the recruits are just dashing everywhere. It's like there's literally six bandits on the board at once. I'm going to log that princess. That was really bad, actually. Um, that might have been the worst interaction. Holy crap. Okay, so I got to go for the wall breakers to just buy myself a little bit of time. Then go for the rascals here. He is going to go for the defensive goblin barrel, but wall breaker... Oh, it didn't connect. That's tough. Um... This is just an awkward game. It's just, I don't even know how to commentate this, honestly. Princess is going to be pretty annoying. E-Spirit's going to take out a couple of those goblins, but we still get some decent damage. We're up about 700 right now. Um, I think the plays just continue to play the recruits because they're kind of carrying me. I'm not going to lie. I'll go for the log, and I think we need to get back to evil recruits if we want to have a chance of breaking through. So that's why I elected to just go for the, uh, the recruits at the bridge right there instead of defending it with something else. Um... I still need to get back to another log. Nah, I'm not going to be able to for his next barrel. Yeah, he's just going to get the barrel off. And then I'm going to have to go for the rascals up high to take out the princess, which is fine. He's probably going to log that right there. I'm going to go for the barrel on the right lane now. He's going to need to respond to the dark goblin and the barrel. Okay, dark goblin is going to get me a couple shots on tower. Not bad. Um, I'll just log his barrel this time and then get my princess down. And then I think evil recruits are the... Like, is the move here, because um, that Evo Knight's not going to die if I don't put these down. So we'll just get that down, get the Wallbreakers down on the right lane. That's my favorite play to do, is just put the Wallbreakers behind, because it's going to force out a ton of Elixir from him. And we don't get the connection, unfortunately, but still pretty good. Evo Recruit is going to dash on tower. That is so broken. Oh, my lord. I can't believe I actually thought these were balanced when they first came out. Um, going to go for the Evo Recruits and then Princess again. Cycle. I don't even need to do anything aggressive here. I can just kind of spam at the river now that he used his log. Go for the barrel on the left lane. Um, princesses are being pretty annoying, but those, those goblins are on the front of the tower, so we're going to get a couple stabs. That's clutch. I'll just get the gang down on the right lane because I actually want to save my log here. We'll go for the evil recruits at the bridge. Just try and protect this princess. It is going to die, unfortunately, but I can just keep spamming. 20 seconds left. I don't need to do really anything crazy, just as long as I don't take any damage from him. And I can continue to... Um pressure and not allow him to rocket cycle me yeah there's not enough time eight seconds just gonna throw one more barrel to be uh annoying put the cherry on top go for the log as well just to ensure that we get the damage goblins get a couple stabs and that's gonna be a good game literally went undefeated in this video this is the easiest deck you have to try it out and like i swear you're gonna win every game even if you don't have the levels played in like a grand challenge or something but yeah anyways thanks for watching the video y'all and we'll see y'all in the next one peace